Speaking of breaking news, if you were with us yesterday morning, you know that we uh, brought this to you uh, on Labor Day, a, a car crash, just a terrible crash, that left five teenagers, including three high school students, dead. And then there was a deadly accident in East Point involving young adults. So this was really just a, a, a deadly Labor Day weekend. It was. Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery joins us live along Church Street and Linwood Avenue. Madeline, what do we know about the victims in this East Point accident? We actually just learned their identities. We're finding out that they were college students and the accident they were involved in has wreckage all over this roadway. In fact, a lot of it is shut down over here at Linwood and Church. And then you can see that utility pole that their car ended up hitting. And we have a photo of those two. Morehouse College confirming Hugh Douglas and Christian Files are the victims of the deadly crash that happened here yesterday afternoon. A post on Morehouse's Facebook says the two were friends and roommates. Douglas was getting a business administration degree. Files was also a business major and a member of the track and field team. Georgia State Troopers tell us the car Douglas and Files were in was speeding around a curb on Church Street when it passed another car. Police say then it hit a power pole, rotated, hit another power pole, and then flipped over. GSP says Douglas and Files died on the scene. The driver in that other car was not hurt. And we also now know the names of the young people who died in the three-car accident in Gwinnett County early yesterday morning. Gwinnett County police tell us that it was 17-year-old Katie Gayton, 16-year-old Ashley Gayton, 17-year-old Coral Lorenzo, 18-year-old Hung Nguyen, and 19-year-old Abner Santana. And three of those teens were students at Lakeside High School. Gwinnett County police say the car the victims were in went over a wall for an exit ramp, fell onto I-85 southbound. Two other vehicles were involved in the accident, and three people from those cars were injured and brought to the hospital. Officers are still investigating the circumstances that led to the crash and truly just a deadly Labor Day weekend. According to Georgia State Patrol, as of six last night, we're waiting for updated numbers. 20 people died over the holiday weekend. Reporting live out here in East Point, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. And just hearing that so many young people, those right. lives cut short there. All right, Madeline, thanks.